If you like this video and it's helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're very new and we're just starting out and we'd appreciate any support that we can get. Thanks a million. I just want to pass on some information that I figured out today. I'm not going to take full credit for it because I didn't figure it out myself. I found it on a YouTube video. Uh, after doing multiple, multiple searches for this issue uh, over the last three years, I finally figured it out. Uh, I can't tell you how many pieces of substrate that I've ruined because of this issue. Uh, basically what it does, I guess ink builds up on the little wheels in your printer and it... Uh, when it's going over a dark area, it leaves little wheel marks that looks like, um, it looks like, uh, it's picking ink off of the area. But then when it goes over a white area, it looks like it's laying ink down on the area. It's very bothersome and it does ruin your substrates and unless you can figure out how to get it fixed, you're going to be very, very frustrated. So just follow along with me and I'll show you how I go into my settings and change the settings so that this little issue just disappears so what you're looking at here is one of the Benelux uh, Christmas ornaments that I do uh, if I were to print that now I would probably get little white pizza lines going right across the middle of it um, and you know what when it's printed it doesn't look very good people say oh you people will never notice that but you know what I notice it and I don't like sending stuff out like that so I'm um, just going to show you what to do to get rid of that once and for all. Open. Sorry. Print. Now I print everything on A3 paper. Uh, this is showing Workforce 7210. I hardly ever use that anymore, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go into the um, Ego Tank 7750. That's where I'm doing all my work from right now. And we're going to go into print settings. Uh, normally I would choose A3, but since uh, this afternoon I figured out how to get rid of the pizza wheel marks. I have a new preset called A3 Corrected. And I'm just going to show you what I did. So on A3 Corrected, I have plain paper, rear paper feed, A3 paper, of course. Uh, under more options, I have high speed turned off. I have mirror image turned on. And we're going to go into custom color correction. So you go into advanced. If you look down here, you click on color controls. Make sure that this top one is selected. If you look down here where it says density, I've turned mine down to a minus six. There's not going to be as much ink laid down on your paper. And uh, you the ink is going to dry faster, so the rollers are not going to pick up the ink and get it all over the roller and then lay ink down on the white areas of your design. So that, my friends, is how you get rid of the pizza wheel marks. Remember, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button.